We are at the airport right now. We are picking up a very special guest. His name is Travis Reynolds. This is IG. Ding! <laughs> All right, if you guys don't know who Travis is, he is an up and coming dunker. Uh, he is 18 years old, I believe. And some background on how I know Travis. Travis has been following me since he was 12 years old. So that was six years ago. He started following me when I was literally just rim grazing. Like I had just hit my first dunk and I had just posted on Instagram for the first time. And he's one of the like biggest dunk fans ever. Then he was like literally just a chubby little kid. Like <laughs> he was like four foot 10, like just chubby, bowl cut. Um, and like to jump too. And like to jump, yeah. And he was trying to touch his eight foot rim. Like I remember, I remember the video. Um, and he's now transformed into a animal. Insert videos. Hey. Oh. So about a year and like three months ago, he started having hella knee pain and I offered to train him. This is right before I started THP. I was only training a few clients online and I wanted to help Travis out. And I told him I will train him for free, but the one rule that I gave him was that he couldn't miss a single workout and he had to do exactly what I said. I literally told him if he ever went outside of the plan that I was gonna cut cut him off, like I wasn't gonna train him. And it was like no no mistakes, like you, you get one shot. So I think at the time he could only do, he could barely windmill. He was like really out of shape too. He was like 210 pounds. He could only power clean like 95 pounds, squatting 135, something like that. And in one year, he hit a 40 inch vertical. He can hit East Bay's now. He lost like, I think it was 30 pounds. His squat went up by like over a hundred pounds. His power clean went up over a hundred pounds. Um, just turned into an absolute, unit. A f***ing unit. I feel like he's gonna be a really f***ing good dunker one day. Hey, there he is. So today is a little bit different of a video. Normally I just show you guys my main lifts and that's it. Uh, today is a circuit day. This is what I do. This is technically considered a rest day, but we don't rest here at THP. Mother yeah, it's like, it's basically active recovery. Some benefits of, of rest days, increased work capacity, lubricates the joints, good for your hormonal profile. Adds general volume so that when we deload, we got to take out and then you jump higher. First step one is run. Oh, this is good. We get his warm-ups right. Yeah, there we go. That's, That's better. More effort, more effort. Tight, 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 squeeze. Travis, what do you do? What do we got to do? Tell him. Like the video. Please. Have you please <laughs> press the like button? I don't know where I'm going to get food this weekend. Uh, How are know. you going to feed Travis? Travis is dying. Bed. And the only thing to say was likes. Travis. Yeah! Oh, don't touch! Don't hit the ground! Don't hit the ground! Woo! Nope. There you go. One more. There we go. There we go. 
All right, guys. So we just finished all the circuits. The final thing I, that I do on my recovery circuit days is low rim practice. This is good because you can keep your legs fresh and knees healthy and still be able to practice technique for the dunks. This is what I did last or two years ago, right before I won Quad 54. I was hurt for like two months, couldn't practice dunking. I low rimmed instead. When I came back, I was, I'm not, my hands were spicy, right? So what I like to do, I like to choose a bunch of different variations. Normally I do a reverse 360 variation, left and right handed, behind the back and between the legs. Yeah, just a mixture of all those three. Why do you then, choose those? All right, so let's say the main pillars of dunking, right? You got a windmill. You got ease bay. You got behind the back. And then you got spins. I would say any like reverse two hands, right? So those are like the main pillars of dunking. I gotta add this too because the dunk game is different. And do a scorpion. <laughs> I don't find scorpions. <laughs> and scorpions. So those are the main pillars of dunking. Basically every dunk is some kind of variation of that. So I like to make sure all those bases are covered plus right and left handed. So for example, I will do 360 behind the back, 360 east bit. I'll also do reverse 360 east bit because that's my left hand variation. And then reverse 360 behind the back. That's my left hand variation for that. And then I usually either practice east bit, reverse two hands, or on the back reverse two hands if you got all those variations down you're good you can basically you got basically have the technique for any dunk out there and finally what i do is i just make 10 in a row of each variation usually i'll pick like six to eight of them it's good to practice game speed so you want to do it fast i don't do it super fast just so i can keep my, my shoulders healthy and shit. but what you want to do is accelerate you don't want to slow down common mistake people do it fast and then they slow down before you want it to accelerate the whole motion so man. Oh, finally, practice pumping the ball up first. It's automatic. Something, so before K54, yeah. I wanted to do a behind the back handoff over and to practice that with Austin because he helped me out every day. We always said like, all right, imagine you're in a contest and there's like some Chinese local that you, that you ask to hold the ball for you. And what if he has that like thing like that old people have like where they shake and like, so, so we called this drill the Chinese local drill. <laughs> this is literally how I ha practice my handoff and it makes me a monster. Get it, like, get it, like this type get of it, shit. get it, go get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make it work. Oh, it's so, so that's good. the other thing, so that's the other thing. When when I would grab the ball, he would f*** it up for me. So like grab it, he'd like do like this type of shit. <laughs> and I got good at it. I got to the point where I could just, he'd be like, I'd be like, give me the f*** it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so hard. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Saw that the other day. <laughs> you do probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. D Brown. <laughs> oh, D-Bound would be nasty. Hold up. What do we have to do? That's pretty. Has that, done that? That, that. Come here. I'm closer. Thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that could be it. All Jordan Kilgan and seedlings. <laughs> <laughs>
We'll take it.